Welcome back again to another video of MTG D&D Reveals and Reviews. Super pumped and excited about this one. Got my Phyrexia All Will Be One bundle, pre-release bundle. And I'm super excited about checking this thing out and getting into it, looking at it a little bit closer. But like always, don't forget to click that like button. Smash that like button, get those likes in there so that YouTube shares the videos more and more people see it, more people like, more people subscribe, the more it grows. Subscribe to the channel, MTG and D&D Reveals and Reviews. Get to 150 subscribers. We will be giving away some different content to my subscribers. So make sure you click that. While you're at it, click that notification button so you don't miss out on any the videos that way you know about everything that's going on when we do give away something you will know about it in the next video so you don't miss out on that and then make sure you share the video let anybody and everybody know about it get the word out there help me spread the word the more the channel grows the more i'm able to do videos i unfortunately aren't able to do videos uh once a week couple times a week possibly sometimes i'm that often just because of, i'm paying for everything in my own pocket but the more the, the channel grows and the, where it starts to help provide some of that we'll be able to do more videos check more things out get more involved in more things uh, better be able to get some of those things that other people have suggested. I've got one suggestion that I really am wanting to try to get. My funds being limited, just trying to get the things I think will be uh, most enjoyable to check out. But here we go. We're going to jump into the Phyrexia. Uh, all will be one. I'm probably not saying that right, and I apologize. But it comes from some super great stuff. So we have got uh, 20 foil, traditional foil, and 20 regular basic land cards. It comes with eight uh, set booster packs for the Phyrexia. All will be one an oversized spine down life counter. We've got an alternate art traditional uh, foil chromonics. I'm probably not saying that, the Rat King. And of course it comes with a deck box for the Phyrexia set here. So I'm super excited about jumping into this thing. So we are gonna jump into it and see what we have got in here. Super pumped about checking this out. Been excited about this for a while and watching it as it gets closer and closer to get coming out. Uh, pre-ordered it here probably like three or four weeks ago and so I'm excited about that so right off the bat we've got like this little poster type thing in here got a super cool picture there the other side we've got some different uh, alternate art or art type stuff going on there super cool love it I love how these pre-release boxes each one's got something special like that so of course we've got your card box super nice looking very sharp I like it enjoy it I think that is awesome. I'm excited about opening this thing up and seeing what we have got. Man, I am pumped about this. So right off the bat, we've got this little cardboard deal that is in there with it. Give you some extra artwork type stuff. So we've got uh, the artwork there, and I am not even positive. It just looks like a palace type situation. Got a couple of token type things on this side, a couple of tokens on this side with another artwork to another palace type of place there. So super cool. Oh, and then of course, it's got like some more token Type deals on the sides there, super awesome. So inside, we right off the bat, we've got a couple of uh, card things, which I'm sure this is gonna be our uh, 20 regular and 20 foil uh, lands. And this is probably gonna be some cool stuff. We got your alternate art there. And then of course, we've got our eight set booster decks here that we're gonna be, or booster packs that we're gonna be getting into and checking out. And then we have got our oversized life counter, love it. Super cool, super awesome. And of course, you just got your box here. This part can slide, move, come out, whatever you need to do. It'll hold your cards and different things. So super cool, keep the life counter in there. And we're gonna check this thing out. We're gonna start with this pack here to see what we have got in it and see what is going on with that. Pop this thing open here. Of course, we've got our uh, Kerr Imanux. Kerminox, I'm not saying that right, and I apologize. The Rat King, Legendary Creature, Phyraxian Rat. Super duper cool card, love it, and it's foiled. So that'll look nice. And now that I say that, I'm guessing this is actually all of our foiled cards. Nice, so we've got foiled, uh, looks like you got five of each. You got five uh, planes. Can't see that very good, planes. You got five islands in there. You got five swamps in there. Five mountains in there. And of course you got five or four, actually it's just four, it looks like, uh, forests in there. So super cool, love that. I'm not gonna count that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess it's four of each. Okay, four of each, that makes sense. For them, five is 20. I can't do basic math apparently. All right, cool. Let's go and jump in one of these booster packs and just check it out here. See what we've got right off the bat here. 
So I'm super excited about this deck. I've watched some different stuff, getting ready for it to come out, and super excited. All right, we've got our art card right off the bat here. Super cool looking. Art card there. Love it. All right, we've got our alternate art swamp, basic swamp. Super cool looking. I love that. That is awesome. All right, we've got uh, Shouldred's, Shouldred's Head Cleaver, a Phyrexian Warrior. We've got Duris, which is a sorcery card. We've got Whisper of the Dross, an instant card. we got Dross Pit, which is a land sphere. The Dross Pit uh, pits enters the battlefield tapped. Then after that, you can tap and add one black, or you can pay one and a black and sacrifice the Dross Pit and you draw a card. Pretty cool. Uh, Shouldred's uh, Edict. Shouldred's Edict. I'm not saying that name right. I know I'm not, and I apologize. Pretty cool. Uh, Minor Misstep, an instant card. Furnace Punisher, a Phyrexian Warrior. Super cool. We've got Thrumming Bird, a Phyrexian Bird Horror, which I'm assuming that is an alternate art looking card. Super, super cool. Uh, we've got Geth Thane of Contracts, and this is a rare card, a Phyrexian Zombie. We've got Archfiend of the Dross, Phyrexian Demon, another rare card. We've got uh, Fleshless Gladiator, Phyrexian Skeleton. So super duper cool. And then, of course, just your basic information about the arena and everything that's there. So that's one card pack down. We're going to see what is in this other card pack uh, that was open. I know we've got basic lands in there, but I'm just curious if there's something else in there or if that's all that is in there. So we've got one, two, three, four planes. Four islands, four swamps, four mountains, and four forests. Okay. And then it just had just some basic, you know, starting to play kind of information cards uh, there with it. Okay. Cool. Just want to see what that was. Make sure I wouldn't miss something else. All right. Jumping into this next set booster pack. Let's see what else we have got in here. Of course, we've got our art card, which is really cool looking. We've got our, I guess that is an alternate art. It's actually a different language, but I'm assuming that's supposed to be a swamp because of the way it looks. We've got Furnace Strider, Phyrexian Beast. We've got Autonomous Furnace, which is a uh, land sphere. Of course, this is uh, fire. Excuse me, mountains, red. Furnace Skull Bomb, an artifact. We've got Blazing Crescendo, an instant card. Feed the Infection, a sorcery card. Infectious Bite, an instant card. Ravenous uh, ne Necretion, ne I'm not going to say that right. If I actually seen a Horrier, super cool looking card. That Emergence, a sorcery card. Uh, Mer Mire Convert, an artifact creature, if I actually seen Mire, which is just, okay. Uh, Jor Kadin. First, Gold Warden, Human Rebel. It is a rare card, legendary creature. Churning Reservoir, which is just a common, uncommon card, but it is foiled. So it's super cool looking. And then, of course, again, just information on how to play. Magic Minigame Winchester Draft. So it gives you a minigame idea. Pretty cool. All right. Check out the next one here. Of course, like always, the link for this will be down in my description. So if you want to grab one yourself, go for it. We've got our art card right off the bat there. Really cool looking. We've got our land, a basic land there, a forest. Uh, the Hunter Maze, which is a land sphere. So just like the other ones kind of we had there. Maze Skull Bomb, which is an artifact. Maze's Mantle, which is an aura. We've got Branch Light Stalker, Phyrexian Elf Scout. Carnivorous Canopy, a sorcery card. We've got Nimraiser Paladin, a Phyrexian Knight. Chittering uh, Skitterling, Skiderling, a Phyrexian Rat. Slaughter Singer, which is a Phyrexian Cleric. We've got Blight Belly Rat, a Phyrexian Rat, of course. We've got uh, Razor, Razor Verge Thicket, which is a rare land. So that's pretty cool. I wonder what that does. Uh, when the thicket enters the battlefield, tap unless you control two or fewer other lands. Okay. So if you so if it's like one of your first ones is going to come out tap, you can tap it for green or white. Quick Silver Fisher, a Phyraxian Drake, and it is foiled. Super cool looking. And then we've got just a Rebel Creature Token. 
Very nice looking, very sharp, I like it. All right, three down, so we got five more to go still. Check out what we have got in here. All right, we got our art card right off the bat. If I turn it the right way. I'm assuming this is a, another alternate art fire land. Basically in there. Draw Skull Bomb, an artifact. We've got Cruel uh, Grim, Grim Arch. I think it says that. Phyraxian Cleric. We've got uh, Testament Bearer, a Phyraxian Warrior. Cutthroat Centurion, another Phyraxian Warrior. Uh, Chimney Rabble, a Phyraxian Goblin Warrior. Vat of Rebirth, an artifact. Uh, incubation Sack, another artifact. Uh, Unctus, Unctus, Retrofitter, probably not saying that right, Phyraxian Artificer, Bright Belly Rat again, Sword of Forge and Frontier, Artifact Equipment, that one is a rare, uh, let's see, Malicator's Watcher, Phyraxian Drone, and then Shatterstorm, which is a sorcery card, very cool cards here. I'm running out of room on my desk here to do this. Here we go. Pop open our next one. All right, we've got, oh, that is a super cool looking art card right there. Like that. Got our basic land and island there. Thirsting Roots, which is a sorcery card. Dune Mover, a Phyrexian Golem. Plague Nurse, Phyrexian Cleric. We've got uh, Serum Snare. Serum Snare, I'm saying that right, but that's an instant card. Uh, Font of Progress, an artifact. Uh, Transplant Theorist, Phyrexian Artificer. Atmosphere Surgeon, Phyrexian Wizard. Uh, Canker Bloom, a Phyrexian Fungus. Uh, Naili, Sun's Vanguard, a Human Rebel, and this one is actually, I think, a Mythic card there. That is super cool. Phyrexian Arena, which is an enchantment, and that one is a rare card. Pal uh, Paladin of Perdition, a Phyrexian Knight, foiled. And then a Phyrexian Might, which is a token artifact creature card. Pretty cool. I like it. I feel like token cards are kind of one of those unrated, like they're not really exciting to get. But man, it's really a lot more fun when you're playing a game or a deck that builds tokens. It's nice when you have a token card to go with that token you're actually creating. So we've got our art card there. We've got another basic uh, land here, another fire mountain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Kuldatha, Crackler, a Phyrexian Hyena. Forge Hammer Centurion, a Phyrexian uh, Warrior. Adaptive Spore Singer, a Phyrexian Druid. Rust Vine Cultivator, a Phyrexian Elf Druid. We've got uh, Boilus, Boilus, Skull Wielder, Phyrexian Insect, Noxious Assault, which is a sorcery card, Paladin of Perdition again, Phyrexian Knight, Sinew Dancer, Phyrexian Soldier, like an alternate art look, alternate art look, uh, Necrogen Rot Priest, a Phyrexian Zombie Cleric, we've got Red Sun's Twilight, a sorcery card, and that is a rare card. And then we've got Razor, Razor Verge Thicket again, another land, which is a rare, but this one is foiled. And then another token card, a rebel. Awesome. Two more to go. Let's see what else we have got in here. Hope you're enjoying this reveal. I'm loving it, enjoying it, having a good time with it. We've got a cool art card there, which we had a card like that not that long ago. Then we've got our basic land forest, one of those ones we can't really read. I'm kind of interested to look into those a little bit more, see what is going on. Is that one fire one looks like it's got a skull on it too. So I'm just wondering if it's multiples. But uh, Shrapnel Slinger, Phyrexian Beast. Crawling uh, Chorus, a Phyrexian Horror card. We've got Charge of the Mites, an instant card. Uh, Indoctrination Attendant, a Phyrexian Cleric. We've got uh, Ribs Rib Skiff Vehicle, which is a vehicle, excuse me. We've got a uh, Necrosquito, nice, a Phyraxian Insect, Mosquito, Armored Scrap Gorger, which is a Phyraxian Beast, Evolving Ad Adaptive, Phyraxian Warrior. 
We've got Quicksilver Fisher. This was just alternate art. Uh, Fire Axiom Drake. Zenith, Zenith, Zenith. Chronicler. Fire Axiom Construct. That one is rare. Perdition Steward. Fire Axiom Elf Warrior. And it is foiled. And then we have a drone as a token artifact creature drone card. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, here we go. Last one. Let's see what we get in here. All right, we've got our alternate, or our, just our art card. Looking really cool. We've got our swamp again. Contagious Varak. 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 Let's see if I say that right. Phyrexian Boar Beast. Pestilent Siphoner. And Phyrexian Insect. Blight Belly Rats. This is not an alternate art one, but just a regular one. Venomous Brutalizer, a Phyraxian Knight. Kind of looks like, almost like a centaur type of creature almost. Pretty cool. Expand the Sphere, a sorcery card. Viral Spawning, another sorcery card. We've got another Quicksilver, Fisher, Phyraxian Drake. Uh, Herbalisk. Herbalisk. Herber, not sure how to say that. Phyraxian Wizard, Anointer. Uh, Herbalisk. Anointer, Fire Exine Wizard. There we go. Bone Picker Scourge, a Fire Exine Imp. We've got Green Sun's Twilight, a sorcery card that is rare. We've got Adaptive Spore Singer, with uh, Fire Exine Druid again. That one's just in foil. So that is it for that one. So super cool. I love it. Great deck. I love the cards. Super awesome looking. Super great looking cards. I love uh, just Wizards of the Coast continue to come out with new stuff, new ideas on things, change things up, change up the artwork. I love how they're always keeping things fresh and new. Love that. So super cool pre-release box. Hopefully you go out there and check it. There's a couple different ones. I'll put them both down in my description. I'll put this one, which is the cheaper of the two. There's a little bit more expensive one that I'm sure has got a lot more cool, even more cool stuff in it. I think it actually had a, uh, a collector booster pack in it also and some other stuff. So I'll make sure to put that one down in my bio. Also down in the description for you. Click those. Go check those things out. Buy one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button. Have a good evening.